I was looking around on YouTube, trying to find new ideas for videos or for content, and I stumbled across yet another live stream cryptocurrency scam. Now, if you haven't seen these before, they are just about everywhere here on YouTube, and it's whenever a individual account, a user, or a channel is compromised, whether it's through some phishing scam, or malware that they ended up accidentally running, or inadvertently using, and then ends up stealing their credentials, their session, their token that authenticates them into YouTube, and then their channel can be compromised. Even with bigger YouTube channels, where there's a separate, dedicated individual that works as the editor to help manage that channel, they may not be able to delete anything on the channel, they can't remove old videos, but they could change the thumbnails, or change the title or description, and even change the channel look, their cover image, their banner, their name, their icon, and then they can go live and be something else. Most often, a cryptocurrency scam hosted by Elon Musk. Now bear in mind, this is obviously not real Elon Musk. Like, hey, the dude's busy. He's, I don't know, he's running around running like Twitterverse and stuff now, right? Now you can search and find a ton of these happening just about all the time. If you literally search for Elon Musk and set the filter to live, then you'll see a ton that might be impersonating Tesla or SpaceX. But if you actually go take a look at their channel, even if you move into like the community tab, you'll probably find things that aren't related to Tesla or SpaceX. Because this was a previous channel that was then compromised and now used to spew this. This is actually exactly what happened with uh, David Bombal's channel some time ago when his channel got compromised and there was a live stream of cryptocurrency where the watchers, the attendees, the viewers might tune in and see a chat, the live stream chat that has messages disabled so no one else can really send anything there, but it has a pinned comment or link in the description or something that will say, hey, go get your free money here. This is all bait. This is all something that could lead them to a second stage, maybe scam or spam website where they'll have Bitcoin addresses that they might send cryptocurrency, whether it's Bitcoin, Ethereum, I don't know, Doge, whatever. All this on the premise that, hey, your money will be doubled or something will be sent back to you or whatever ploy it might be. When I was looking at this previously, I actually found a live stream that was covering these scam live streams. They had some sort of feed set up where you were always being able to see the YouTube link, the URL, the ID for the video where you could see this is an active scam, and you could go visit and see what link was present. Oddly enough, uh, now at the time of recording this video, that is taken down, and I can't find that user account anymore, I don't know why, but I was clicking around, I was exploring these, I was seeing, hey, what do these scam sites often look like? They even had a live chat, so Support, and I thought, hey, I, I might have some fun, maybe mess around, see if I could get in any trouble there. So I messaged in the chat and they responded and I couldn't understand anything that they were sending back. Uh, but just off a hunch, you know, hey, I thought I'll send them like a simple t canary token. Maybe see, can I get any fun info back from this thing? And it never fired. I never got anything, but I thought that would be cheesy. But you know what? Hey, let's go take a look and see if we can find any right now. So I am on YouTube.com, not signed in. So I'm getting, hey, fresh, whatever the algorithm wants to throw at me. I'm going to go ahead and search for Elon Musk, and I'll go ahead and set that filter to live. Now, there are a ton of these already just going to be screaming out here. Here's Elon Motors, here's exactly hijacked channels used for crypto scams using public figures like Elon Musk. <laughs> this is kind of wild. Here are a ton of, like, duplicate SpaceX missions. I'm assuming these are just separate and the same scam running at the same time from different accounts here. So let's go ahead and check out one of these. Here, I'll hit that SpaceX Crew-5 mission uh, and I'll go to this. Oh, and look, okay, they have exactly a, <laughs> a dumb, stupid pin tweet from allegedly Elon Musk. Obviously, this is fake. Hey, your life will change within 15 minutes if you scan the QR code. Not a joke, and we have a QR code we might be able to scan here. Oh, chat is disabled currently, which is a bit of a bummer, but of course, no comments, no nothing. Let's Let's go see what this SpaceX with 3,000 subscribers is really up to. Uh, no videos, but a whole lot of past live streams. Let's see if they have any community posts. No, nope, nothing. Well, hey, let's take the bait and go ahead and scan this QR code here. Here, let's do that uh, a little bit live. I'll take a screenshot of that. Let's do a simple, hey, QR code decoder online. We can upload this as a file, just slap it in paint. Go ahead and upload that. It gives me the link newspacex23.net. All right, let's check it out. Let's see, can I get to new SpaceX 23? Here it is. Here's a huge crypto giveaway during the launch. During to the launch. Okay. All this looks pretty fake. All this looks pretty dumb. There's our boy chatting again on newspacex23.net. Ugh.
How to participate? Hey, go ahead and send some money, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Doge, <laughs> to any of these. Let's see if we can hit anyone in the chat. They're like, hello, I need to send BTC. They reply immediately. They say they reply immediately. Oh, they're typing, they're typing. John joined the chat. It's me. <laughs> hello, open your wallet and select the desired cryptocurrency. Use the send button to send sent to call. I need help. Let me see if we can get another canary token. Let's see if they do it. It's obviously automated. Like, there's no way that's... I doubt that's a real person. Okay, generated a super quick canary token. Let's see if I can just slap it into tiny URL. My mama says this link is where my address is. I doubt they'll click on it. I doubt it. it and I doubt they're real. Anyway, what else do we have here? Oh, here's one. SpaceX, another Crew 5 mission. Uh, didn't even change the channel icon, but still looks like SpaceX. Okay, now the icon is there. Uh, no videos, only live. Community... <laughs> very very clearly not spacex i don't even know what this is i don't want to touch it oh here's another good one tesla shareholder announcement regarding the silicon valley bank shenanigans what do we got live commentary mode is on so we are not able to chat what is happening in this video ah oh my gosh stop oh here are a couple good ones even uh with roblox here china just launched the great reset on the west with this move here's tesla live chatting again good old elon making his uh conversations here uh tesla live turn subscribers only mode only channel subscribers of 19 years or longer can send messages <laughs> what what does our tesla live have for us oh the babam's channel <laughs> what is this what I don't like this one. But see, here are their playlists and their community and all this is very, very not Tesla. But I'm saying like they can't delete videos. So whatever was already there and they could just go live and like look like Tesla. Let me try one of the uh, old ones that we had some time ago. It was SpaceXDragon.com, I think. Oh, oh, hey, Guardio actually brought that one. Nice. And with that, actually kind of a perfect segue for the sponsor of today's video, Guardio. I almost got hacked in 2022. I got sent a phishing email claiming that there was a copyright strike on one of my YouTube videos. And if I had clicked the link, I could have had my credentials stolen and my whole YouTube channel and digital identity compromised. And this is all too common, not just for creators, but for everyone. You use the internet every day. You use a web browser every day. You're on a web browser right now. Whatever software that you use to browse the web, it is an integral part of your daily workflow. And it's super important that you keep yourself safe. So why not use a browser extension that can protect you? And that is where Guardio comes in. The Guardio browser extension protects you as you visit websites and web pages across the internet. While you might end up storing your own information online, whether or not it's banking information, passwords, addresses, or more, Guardio acts as the first line of defense. And after my run-in with so many phishing attempts last year, now I use Guardio. With Guardio, you can stay vigilant with phishing protection and proactive blocking of harmful sites. All those unknown links and emails, social media scams, pop-ups, and adware, they can say goodbye. On top of that, Guardio fights against malicious extensions that steal your credentials or spy on keystrokes in your online activity. Guardio hunts for these extensions, removes them, and alerts you before even installing them to begin with. It even monitors for information leaks and provides real-time alerts when your data is found online. So you can take action quickly and prevent things like identity theft or credit card fraud. Guardio is trusted by over 1 million users, and you can try it today to find out why. Get started with the Guardio browser extension. For a 7-day free trial, 20% off of your monthly subscription price, and the ability to add 4 extra family members at no extra cost. All with my link in the video description. Huge thanks to Guardio for sponsoring this video. Guardio actually covered uh, exactly this some time ago. They had an article that they shared out on their blog uh, back in January for streamjacking. Exactly what we're discussing, crypto scams circulating based off of live streams here on YouTube. And they dive into a little bit more detail because they're showcasing some of the other websites that have been built that we just saw. And even talking about those compromised Twitter users or other social media posts that try to do this sort of giveaway back and forth switcheroo idea. And that like, look, if you send us money, hey, we'll give you more money back. 
but that doesn't actually happen. And this is exactly that same QR code that we just saw moments ago, that same style of links with something Elon X2, any numbers, and tons of these things as they come up. <laughs> I really like that they mentioned the Redline Stealer, and I have a, a couple other videos on the Redline Stealer on the channel. I've actually received some of those phishing emails or some of those fake sponsor brands trying to reach out to work with you and your channel, and it's all just fake. It's all a scam. But there are so many other malware families like Redline, like Vidar, however you want to say that. There's Raccoon Stealer, and all those things will end up compromising your information, sessions, cookies, tokens, or whatever, so that they can do damage. Their post does dive into even like genuine real cases of a bigger YouTuber being compromised and just having their channel taken over to do these scams. Uh, and actually digging into some of those websites, like the links that you're being redirected to, either in that QR code in the video or the link in the live stream chat or description of the video, if you actually take a look at it, what they might show you for these transactions that look like they're actually being updated, it's all just client-side JavaScript. It's all code that your browser is gonna end up running to look like these numbers are changing, and that's all it, it, that's all it is. It just looks like it. There aren't actually any real numbers or transactions or data being sent. It's just fake. One of the cool parts though, is you can actually dig into where are those addresses and what one of those that it's trying to have money sent to, how much have they received? How much money has already came through this? They dig through it in a case sample, a little study of teslanext.com, given one of those addresses, and they could actually go track down. Of course, the blockchain's not gonna lie, how much money has been received over time to that wallet. There are, of course, whatever washing money laundering schemes all along the way. There's a whole lot there in that image. And in the bottom of the article, really, really cool section where they dig into some of the indicators of compromise or the IP addresses that have been seen associated with some of those scam pages. Even Bitcoin addresses that they've seen pop up and all of the domains that they've been tracking so far. Exactly the same style as we've seen just previously. SpaceX, CryptoX, Elon to Bitcoin, yada, yada, yada. Gosh, there are so many of these. I'm still scrolling. So hey, wrapping this thing up, just for advisory sake, honestly, don't fall for this sort of scam. It's stupid, it's dumb. There are so many of these, like the WhatsApp comments and YouTube videos. I know I'm gonna get some in this video or even anything else in Instagram or Snapchat or crap where people just try to ploy and deceive you into some communication or some giving of information where you might just end up sending money in stupid Bitcoin cryptocurrency sake. Don't do that. Even when you go into any of these, or if you see weird live stream stuff, take a look at that channel's content, not if they have videos previously or even their community posts. Oftentimes you'll get lucky and you'll see people that just have community posts that aren't in line with what that channel looks like it is right now. And if I may, if you just don't wanna worry about that stuff, phishing emails or weird scam websites, uh, try a browser extension that will just automatically block that stuff for you. If you want, give Guardio a try. Anyway, sorry, long video, don't fall for scams. Don't let yourself fall for scams, and especially don't let your friends and family don't fall for scams. Mom, dad, grandma, I don't know if they're getting into that crypto craze. Uh, tell them not to. Maybe, just, uh, <laughs> whatever. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.